tonight, let the after party begin. Yes, we are right in the middle of Fiesta de los Reyes at Historic Market Square, where the fun doesn't stop till midnight, and it's going on all week long. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta! And I'm Mike Osterhage, and oh, it is so wonderful to be able to say Fiesta. It all yes. started for us Thursday night with Fiesta Fiesta. All of the folks that were down there. The, the Army Drill Team, the spectacle. The royalty, and you know, it continued in this week and saw some of the video from the uh, the charro competition. Oh, and the woman those, those bright colors on, on their dresses. Yes. The, the gentleman, and it was so hot out there. The gentleman, you know, the, with the lasso demonstrations oh, yeah. in the leather chaps. And you know, everybody, though, has been worried about the heat in these uniforms. But I don't think it really matters to anybody except David Sears earlier. Right. It's Fiesta. <laughs> it's been more than two years. It's wonderful. Yes, yeah, so we want you to show us your Fiesta photos. And you can share them on Facebook, Twitter, um, and uh, just on SA Live KSAT. Okay, so you just watched the San Antonio, of course, River Parade tonight for the, Te or the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. So many beautiful floats. Yes, indeed, but there were two floats that were missing, and a lot of work went into these floats that were made by yours truly. <laughs> yes, we learned just how much work goes into those. Take a look. <laughs> Take a look. We are here at the beautiful new Thompson Hotel downtown, and wait do you see what we're going to be doing. Uh, we are going to be using their beautiful pool setting here to see which one of us can make a better impromptu fiesta float. And local crafter, stop it. Local crafter <laughs> Stephanie Pena Frost from Princess and the Monkey is here to kind of help us design yes. those floats, I'm right? Help y'all with your floats, but look at the goodies. Are I these have the prizes at, after we're done? Yes, these can be the prizes once we're done. Some nice food from the Thompson Hotel. Their fiesta special. Oh, Chicken great. on a stick and, and a fruit cup, cup that you can get here at the pool. I love it. gonna do better? I don't know. I'm up for a healthy competition. I want both of y'all to succeed. A friendly or not so friendly, friendly if you will. Friendly or not Cindy. so friendly. Let's go. Nerd alert. <laughs> I'm really excited about this challenge today. I think Mike and Fiona know what they're doing, but just in case, I'm here to help and let's see what we can get done. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm looking forward to this competition. I think I'm up for the challenge and, you know, since I'm a mom, of course I have an oversized rubber ducky to compete with. Quack, quack. Okay, on the river parade, what do they ride on? Barges, barges are floating rectangles. What is this? It is a floating rectangle. It's an air mattress. Hey, plus, as long as I have duct tape, duct tape? As long as I have duct tape, I'm gonna be fine. Plus, spring a leak, I got duct tape to patch it. Nerd alert. So what should folks remember if they're trying to make their, you know, yes to float for maybe a pool at home? So you want to be colorful? Of course. You want to try to use products that you can use in the water. Don't use paper flowers. These are made from a plastic tablecloth that you get at the party supply store. Make them like regular flowers, you're good to go. What Fiesta Float doesn't have streamers. They all do. So you want to have lots of color, lots of movement, lots of ribbon. And these are all Fiesta colors. I yes. wanted to try and incorporate a little bit of, you know, July 4th coming up exactly. here, that's okay? That's perfect. Okay, I think we each chose what we want to decorate with. All right. Y'all look good? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready to go? Yeah. Three, two, one, let's get crafted. All right. an outstanding job. A lot of effort went into these. They look good. They both represent each of y'all and I can't wait to see how they look on the water.
We, of course, want to say a big thank you for to the Stream Factory and also to the Thompson Hotel. Look at their medal right there for you Fiesta. You can pick those up. Great and stuff. behind us, of course, look at that, how the Stream Factory came in over the weekend and decorated our set. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is going to be up here all week long. Find them at Instagram at the Stream Factory. Yes. All right. Well, they are so talented. And you can find them on Instagram, as we mentioned, the Stream Factory. And we have the medals, the streamers. And now all we need is a fun game with Chamoy. Yep. And this is the man. He comes in here, Alex Ramos, owner of Chamoy. Moi Emas joins us with a fun TikTok game that he is challenging us to. Alex, what are we going to be doing yes. here? Welcome. Viva yes. Fiesta. Viva, Viva Fiesta, Fiesta, guys. And thank you for having me back. We're really excited to be Good here. Day. So you're going to start off with a free roll-up game, which okay. is actually um, made with done in TikTok, but we uh, emas everything. So we yeah. added oh, some extra to everything. It's really sour. It is. So I'm going to count you down for 10. You're going to roll and eat that as fast as you can. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I oh. think he might beat you a little bit. Might beat he ate way more than you did. That's really All right, horrible. guys. So next we're gonna go into our, our pong game. So what you're gonna do is you grab ping pong, shoot it into the cup. First one that makes it in, you guys are gonna make your refresher. Oh! <laughs> I'm in! So you guys are going to dip that um, harito into our chamoy. So this is yeah. going to be our original chamoy. Add some of that sauce on, um, um, spices on there. Add the ice. How many different flavors of chamoy you got? Yeah, we have, so we have six different chamoy flavors. We started with original caliente pickle, watermelon, strawberry, and we also have mangoes. We also sell it in a uh, bottle form as well. So if you guys are ever interested in kind of drizzling on your items like we did our first segment, you can always do that. You guys have your nice refresher with squirt, with deep eddies lime, um, and then you guys squirted some lime Ooh. inside there. And of course, you have some of our cherry bombs as well. Throwing uh, those in. Throwing those in. Always Ooh. throw in a little extra. That's okay. tasty. There you go. And these things would be great even just to pop them in another cocktail. Exactly. Like that, right? We do yeah. offer a lot of different other candies as well. So if you guys ever want to purchase them, you can visit us on our website at www.chamoyamas.com. Because you really love to the e uh, right? We, yes. Tell us what else you put chamoy on. Yeah, so like our said, we do uh, chamoy on popcorn. Right. We also have our new new chamoy mini bottle so the winner which i think was actually fiona um that won so fiona wins a mini uh to go uh chamoy bottle Thank but mike I, I'll, I'll give you one too because you were Aww. you're a troop and you uh ate all the chamoy as much as you can so <laughs> we definitely enjoyed uh being here and we we are excited to continue to oh, those are great yeah those are perfect so mini <laughs> keychain on the go Super excited to have that fiesta. You're ready for it, guys. Okay, well tell folks where they can find your products. Yeah, like I said, you can um, come on our website. We're also on Instagram and Facebook as well. Uh, you can purchase all of our products from uh, Chamoy Paste, Candies, even Corn Nuts as well. Great okay. way to support local as yes. well. Yes, all right. Well, you, you can find much, that information on Chamoy Imas on our website. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, don't go anywhere because you do not want to miss this. Still ahead, Jet and goes on a Fiesta flight with the Army Golden Knights. And up next, you can't have... Welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade after party here at Market Square. The officers walked away without a medal, but hey, I'll promise you, here's one. your Fiesta medals. <laughs> yes. There's your Fiesta. Would you like one too? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Uh, I love it. This is so fun right. passing out medals to folks here. I'm so glad we can do it. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! Yeah, everybody all at once. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! <laughs> okay, so besides handing out medals, one of the best things about Fiesta is the Fiesta food. And our Jen Tobias Trusky is standing by with a Fiesta classic. Hey, Jen. I got a medal for you. I'm going to put it right hey, here. Okay? Great. Thank so you. So let's go ahead and get started. What are we making? It looks delicious. Well, we're making a skinny gordita. People wait an entire year to have a gordita and then left feeling uh, guilty about having a gordita. Well, you don't have to feel guilty anymore. We're going to make a very healthy gordita. Now, can you trust a skinny gordita? <laughs> 
absolutely. <laughs> and it tastes great as well. Okay. So we're going to start with blue corn, which is a I'm really better than the yellow corn or white corn. We're going to cook that for about three and a half minutes on each side. Okay. While that cooks, I'm going to start over here with the uh, cactus because that's, that's going to be our stuffing, cactus. So we're going to add a little bit of onion. So I've never tried cactus before. I was telling you this earlier, but the only ingredient here, there's no meat. It is the cactus and you have all the fresh and vegetables. That, that, is, that is correct. A little bit of peppers. We're going to add tomatoes to it. And you don't have gonna, to worry about the slime, right? Because you cook that down. <laughs> no, all that is cooked down and, and it's all gone. So we're going to just give it a couple, of, a couple of minutes here. And I'm watching this guy over here. Put it on. So blue corn's healthier for you then, just so you want to take that. Yes. You know, like they talk about uh, fruits and vegetables, the darker the color, the healthier they are. The same applies for corn. So blue corn is really, really healthy. You have a lot of antioxidants okay. and, and it's very good for you. So, yes. of course, if it's like consumed that. in moderation. Yes, in moderation. Uh, yeah. But um, it's really good. So it is cooking. Now we're going to add the, the cactus here. Look at that. And it, it really smells like the out here, the food. Oh. So good. Gonna season with a little bit of <laughs> salt. Okay, so get the pepper. Delicious. And we're gonna finish it with a little bit of cilantro. There you go. Some. Just a couple of minutes. All so ready. We're all done here. Okay. Gonna get ready to have our taste. Are you ready to try a gordita? Yeah, you can come out here to mark. Well, unfortunately, sometimes we have technical difficulties. Yeah. They are right over there, and uh -huh. are they back? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna send it, send it back out to Jen. I think we are. Oh, all right. So Jen oh. went up with the Golden Knights. They jumped during Fiesta Fiesta, and they went up to about uh, twelve thousand feet and watched them all jump out. This is what it looks like inside the plane. <laughs> A lot of people think about skydiving as a roller coaster and it's not actually what happens. The aircraft is actually moving 120 miles an hour and terminal velocity for a normal skydiver is 120 miles per hour. So actually you're staying the same speed and you're falling. So you don't get that rush feeling. I think the way I can describe it is if you're driving in a car and you put your hand outside of the car and you feel the wind just against your hand, just imagine that against your whole body. The Golden Knights have conducted more than 16,000 shows in 50 states and 48 countries. They've broken 348 world records, and this month, they're breaking tradition for Fiesta in San Antonio. I love making history, so that's what our job is. But I've never actually been to Fiesta, so I'm pretty excited to actually be here. Helping the Alamo City kick off the two-week-long summer edition with a tribute to our military and first responders. Look at that picture. Yeah, they're literally we can see them right oh now. Oh my gosh, they're right in front of us. Yeah, right How from where we exciting. are. How exciting. You can see everybody's like, what in the world is happening out there? Beautiful. How do they do this with pinpoint accuracy? You may have seen this on KSAT's coverage or live at Fiesta Fiesta on Thursday, but riding along with these champions of the sky, you're able to see what goes into making a perfect landing. We're getting ready to board here. The United States Army Parachute Team is ready. First time in history at Fiesta that we have the Golden Knights. Let's go. It's testing the winds, circling the drop zone, constant communication. And the science and math that goes into tracking the wind speeds all play an important role. I think the most challenging part is uh, 
our landing areas. You know, we can land in pretty tight areas because we practice year round for this. Um, but we have full confidence in every one of our jumpers here. Um, our most uh, concern or the thing we look up the most is safety. So mm -hmm. that's probably the most challenging thing. Up here, we reach 13,000 feet, 40 degrees, y'all. The narrator jumps first, giving him time to land and take a breather to help introduce his fellow teammates. And here's the view you didn't see. Now that's making a fiesta entrance. And one more salute to all those heroes out there. Viva Fiesta. And to the Golden Knights, thanks for dropping in. The Golden to Black once a day, never go back. Woo! The Golden Knights! Go Golden Team! Again, precision is everything for these guys. So they said to me, it doesn't matter if you're on landing on a beach, it's still the same. It looks like it's bigger, but they have to have that same 12 by 12 landing strip. So isn't wow. that crazy? And they told you to bring a jacket. It was 95 oh, degrees yeah. that day. It was, and up there, 40 degrees. And I, I did underestimate that, so my hands were freezing. Oh, no. <laughs> but they were prepared with oxygen, extra jackets, and gloves. It was an amazing experience. I wish you were there, Mike. <laughs> But seeing that the same guy so dropped jealous, down, by right the way, on the we stage. saw that plane, and you guys and then, were up there. Okay. Yeah, and then he narrated yeah. the rest of it. Yeah, it was awesome. They're a great group. <laughs> Very cool, Jen. <laughs> All right, next on the show, oh, our favorite foodie, David Elder, has some great fiesta food. That's coming up. We're the Golden Knights, and you're watching SA Live. Oh, oh, I'm so jealous at, when I see yes, him Oh my no. gosh, look at that mouth-watering munchie. <laughs> Times like this, wish we had smell a vision <laughs> Well, welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade after party with SA Live. It is a fiesta favorite, chicken on a stick. But this restaurant is taking it to a whole new level. Yep, it's a little taste of paradise. And David Elder, of course, host of Texas Eats, introduces us to Thai chicken on a stick. Take a look. Now we're here off Grayson to go inside of a Thai style restaurant that's also serving up some killer cocktails just in time for Fiesta. Let's go inside Hello Paradise. Joining me now is Jared Pena. Thank you so much for having us out here, man. Cool, Hello Paradise. This is a spot to be for outdoor fun in San Antonio, especially during Fiesta. And I got you a Texas Eats Fiesta medal, so oh, I got to yeah. put it on you real quick. Got to make sure I don't try to stick you here. Bam! Thank you, Texas man. Texas Eats. Chicken on a stick. Such an iconic dish that everybody wants to get during Fiesta. You guys are doing something a little different with it this year. Talk to me about what makes yours look the way it looks. So it's Thai fried chicken. We want to celebrate Fiesta, so we're like, well, why don't we just do chicken on a stick Thai style? It also comes with different kinds of sauces. Well, I'm gonna hand you yours. Here, you go for this one. The Thai style chicken on a stick, only out here at Hello Paradise. Here we go. That's the bite. Whoa, that's phenomenal. Chicken on a stick, can't say it enough. One of the most popular items you can get during Fiesta, and only at Hello Paradise, you can get Thai style chicken on a stick. They're deboning and marinating the thigh meat here in house. Fresh chicken, never frozen. Then they're breading it, deep frying it to perfection. It comes out with three different sauces on there. And I tell you what, the sweet one, the spicy one, a little bit more of the savory sauce as well. You can't go wrong with any of it. A little bit of white rice on the side as well. If you really want to try something different this Fiesta season, this is what you need to try. That is good. There's skin on it too. So yeah. it's chicken skin on it. Mm. Now this is like a spicy sauce that comes with it as well. I'm going for it. Here we go. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> really fun. Different take on chicken on a stick. I and mean, that's how you do it. You want to have a new way of experiencing Fiesta. 2021 is going to be such a fun year to come outside and just get to know San Antonio again, especially the new spots that have popped up during 2020. If you want to know what's happening out here at Hello Paradise for Fiesta, you got to follow them on social media, and they're going to be having live music, DJs, all kinds of events out here. I mean, it's a gorgeous outdoor patio, and they're going to have a lot of different fans keep you cool, keep the kids cool as well. There's games outside. There's ways to watch movies out here as well. All kinds of different activities that you can have fun out here with Hello Paradise. This is so cool, dude. Thank you. Great drinks in front of us as well. On top of the Thai-style chicken on a stick, you can also get all of the regular menu items that they serve year round during Fiesta. You get the egg rolls, you can also get the boat noodles. Plus, they have new drinks on the menu as well. Two frozen drinks and a kimchi michelada that is just out of this world. Yep. That's the bite. Salute. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, this is really good. Okay. 
This is so fun. Kimchi micheladas, all different kinds of drinks out here as well. This is a spot to grab a cocktail. This is so fun for Fiesta. You got your medal now, man. You ready to rock, baby. I am. Hello Paradise. I mean, minutes away from downtown. This is where it's at. Come grab a drink, grab some great food. Cheers to you, sir. I love Fiesta. I love the food. Right, we well, had don't dinner and I'm hungry. <laughs> right? We had I dinner know. and I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. And when you want more of Texas Eats with David Elver, just check it out every Saturday morning at 10 right here on KSAT 12. Favorite Fiesta food? If right now, if you walk outside, what would be the, the one like food that you would go for? I like things spicy, Mike. I like things hot, so I would say spicy or hot chicken on a stick. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, I'd have to say churros, but you know, chips and queso is always so a good sweet. standby. See, spicy, sweet. <laughs> but, th but then right in the middle, the, chip the chips and queso is kind of like a good little. Yes. Yeah, it's the comfort food for it. So. <laughs> All right. Well, well, if you are out and about for Fiesta, or even if you are fiestifying at home, be sure to share those Fiesta pictures. We would love to see them. Tag us at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and you might see them go by in a little bit. And if you want to share some food with us, we'll take that too. So, <laughs> hey, he is a young star who is just shooting to the top. Mateo Lopez gained fame after a video of him singing to his mom at right here at Mitierra, and it went viral. He sang his heart out on Little Big Shots and Mexico's Got Talent. And now he's performing for us tonight, Mateo Lopez and Mariachi Azteca de America. Take it away. ¿Cómo están mis amigos? De, de acá le voy a cantar una canción. I'm gonna sing a song called La Fiesta del Mariachi by Mariachi Vargas. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. What a cute and fantastic performance. And a great voice. <laughs> okay, flower crowns are such a big part of Fiesta. You are wearing a gorgeous one as well. Yes. And uh, How fast can you make one, Mike? How I, fast can you DIY? I don't know, but I'm going to have to do something else very, very fast because I missed <laughs> the meeting again. And Christy's Casa de Colores is joining us with a fun Fiesta game that you can play with your family. Stick around. We are having so much fun down here at Market Square for the after party. So are, oh, just a few hundred of our closest <laughs> friends. It's a beautiful night down here. Welcome back. And everybody say it right now, Chris, you haven't had a chance yet. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Fiesta! Oh, well, if you're 
looking for something fun to do with the family during Fiesta, why not make your own interactive game? Yes, indeed. And Christy Davila, who is the artist and owner of Christy's Casa de Coloros, has invented a fiesta game to use with these beautiful crowds. We're not going to yes. use these. These are Oh, no. We're, yeah, we're going to put these on. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> See, I've got one already Ooh, with lights. You look gorgeous, Fiona. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. These are absolutely awesome. I Thank love you. how you make yes. these. Okay? Yes, I love it. fits. Well, <laughs> you have a big head. I know. <laughs> party powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel. SA Live is San Antonio's number one lifestyle and variety show airing weekdays at 1 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. We celebrate San Antonio with food, animals, home and fashion tips, music, arts and crafts, and so much more. Unfortunately, that's it for the after party here. We have had so much fun this evening, but don't forget to join us each and every weekday starting tomorrow right down here at Market Square as we celebrate Fiesta <laughs> de los Reyes. And for now, we're going to leave you with a performance by Ballet Folklorico Sol de San Antonio. And I got you guys some cocktails. Thank Thanks you. so much for watching. Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta. <laughs>